live with the story. Demont? Hey, you know, Melly, for many folks, this King holiday was more than just celebrating with parades and special programs. For many, it was about giving back to the community. Now, for all day, we can tell you that hundreds of volunteers have been busy donating time, sprucing up neighborhoods and helping nonprofit agencies across Houston. Many of those volunteers representing church groups and schools, devoting time to helping others this Martin Luther King Jr. holiday. Now, for two decades, national leaders have encouraged families to embrace this King holiday as the national day of community service. About 200 members, for example, of Lily Grove Missionary Baptist Church told me they tried something new this holiday. Instead of regular church service, they spent time painting around Salvation Army and providing free haircuts to seniors, among other acts of service. Now, the members say today's a reminder that every day is an opportunity to volunteer your time. For the last 20 years or so, we've been doing programs, Martin Luther King programs, where we have speeches and preaching and singing. And I thought that this year would be a fine time for us to get out in the community and put our hands on some stuff. Now, while bouncing around the city today to different events, we did run into Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee, who wanted to remind the community that in April, a statue and plaza will be dedicated in Dr. King's name and honor at McGregor Park. Again, we'll let you know as soon as more details about that come, and that'll be again in April. In the third ward, Damon Fernandez, 13 Eyewitness News. All right, Damon, and what better way to observe uh, MLK Day than doing service for your neighbors? And so on such a beautiful day as well. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it was perfect for the, not only the parade, but of course for the service as well. Congratulations.